wanted to take some time to talk about cycle of fourths and having a certain pattern in the bass that leads the ear from chord to chord. We're going to be in the key of no sharps and no flats here for the most part. We're going to be moving from A to D to G to C to F sharp to B to E. If we want, we can carry on to A to D to G to C. So if you're not familiar with the cycle of fourths, you've probably seen the circle of fifths. It's that same idea, but we're running counterclockwise rather than clockwise. So rather than C to G to D to A, we're going A to D to G to C. We're coming back in the circle. And these chords then are gonna outline uh, the kind of progression that you hear in tunes like Autumn Leaves, All the Things You Are, there's a bunch of them. So many tunes have this forward moving fourth progression. So A to D to G to C, F sharp B, etc. We might go on down. So what we're gonna be having here in the first part, just maybe two notes, a root and a third. So these are gonna be tenths outlining these chords, A minor. This is 12 and 13 on strings five and two. I think all of these are mostly gonna be five and two or six and three as far as string sets. So 12, 13, that's A and C. D and F sharp, that's 10 and 11. Now we need G major, that's 10 and 12. So we're alternating from fifth string set, sixth string set, fifth string set, sixth string set. So this C is eight and nine on the sixth and third strings. Eight and nine. Now we have half diminished chord. Looks a little different then. So nine and 10 on strings five and two. Now B7, getting that D sharp leading tone in there. This is seven and eight on strings six and three. Here's E minor seven and eight on strings five and two. So if we go over just that much, now if it were autumn leaves, we might make this E minor into E seven by, by going from seven, seventh and ninth fret, making the G natural, a G sharp. This is G sharp and B, if you want to lead back to A minor and stop it there. That kind of sound. We're going to carry on though, because there's some other things I want to get to here, which is to think of pairs of bass notes. So for A, we're gonna go up to its third. In this case, that would be A to C. I hope you can hear that that's outlining those chords even more with bass pitches. So we either have minor thirds, or in the case of D, D7 here, 10th to 9th fret, this is a major third, another major third for G, 10 and 9 on the 5th and 4th strings, this is 8 and 7 for C, now 9 and 7 for F sharp, half diminished, 
the seventh and sixth frets of the sixth and fifth strings. And now E and G would be E minor here at the seventh and fifth frets of the fifth and fourth strings. So if we just did that, it's gonna sound a little empty because we're doubling the third when we move that bass note. So we're gonna also descend to meet up with a sixth here, interval of a sixth. And this is A minor in first inversion, meaning the C is in the bass. The minor third is in the bass of this chord. And now we're gonna have D. So this little run, this is 10 and 11 on the sixth and third strings. I'm just putting that half step in there, F sharp to G. And this is nine and 10 of the fifth and second strings. Hope you can hear that's following. G, and now we need go to our root and third in the bass, so the melody is going to come down from a tenth to a sixth. Six. And now to C. So here we have eight and nine on the sixth and third. I'm a whole step above, because we're trying to keep to that scale. There's C in first inversion, meaning the third is in the bass. That's seventh and eighth fret of the fifth and second strings. Each of these little moves would be good to work on on their own if you need to. Now we're going to come to the half diminished. Here are this note stays in the scale. If, if we were to put that in, it doesn't quite work. We're leading, leaving the key center too much. So this is going to look like the one we had for A minor to D7. Now it's going to be sounding like F sharp half diminished to B7. So here's F sharp and A, ninth and 10th fret of the five and two, coming down, eighth fret. Then they're joining up here, the minor third in the bass, and a sixth above. That's the F sharp. I'm bringing a little suspension down. This is B7. And this will look just like any major chord. This is root to third. These are the small mechanisms that I'm trying to get across on my channel that if you learn these small little bits, You're suddenly moving between chords and having some good bass progression and melodic motion. Your ear will get hungry for more melodic motion too as you go on and are comfortable with where the bass is going. But if you're unsure about where the bass line is going, it'll be real hard to get this together. So we are at B7, seven and eight, walking up to six and seven on the fifth and second strings. Here's E minor now, seven and eight. If you wanna continue, it'll look just the same. Here's E minor with a half step. Here's the third with a sixth above in the melody. 
Use A7 now. And let's see if we want to go dominant or minor. I heard minor. So this is an introduction to a couple of things, having inversions in the bass, having tenths move to sixths, and having a progression of cycle four. So I hope this has been of interest and maybe some inspiration for you. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. If you can like the video it helps my channel grow a little bit and reach more people if you have suggestions for things you'd like to see please leave them below and i really appreciate your kind attention and and i do indeed wish you a very good day